Hello and welcome to the Skilled Workers Get Jobs Quick Bite. Today we're going to talk about the first day and the spotlight on the class. What students want to know is much like you hear about a detective of the who, what, when, where, and why. In this case, the who is pretty established of the students in the class and the where has been somewhat established of the online, but we're going to think about the what, when, and why. First of all, Students don't want surprises. They're taking a lot of classes. They're trying to figure out what they're doing and in many cases might also have jobs. They're often at home where other family members are there. They need to know what to expect. They need to know what the purpose of the class is. If you as an instructor cannot tell someone why they're taking the class or what they're going to do, how do you expect students to understand? Put yourself in your student's shoes. How would you feel if your supervisor goes, oh, we're going to have meetings. I can't exactly tell you when. Don't know how long they're going to be. Don't know what, exactly what we're going to do. It would stress us. It does the very same for students. Embrace our new environment. Set the tone when you're talking about your syllabus. Most of us have a printed syllabus that we've been accustomed to handing to students. You have visual abilities, so think about adding visuals. For example, when I tell students the different items that make up their grades, I can create a smart art like this that includes what it's going to be so that they have a visual of what it's going to have. Now, I could include more information with each item. For example, I could have due dates for items, or I could just keep it simple at this point of what is going to be covered in the item. Next, think about consistency. Do you have work due on a consistent day or are you at a class going, oh, going to be due next class, we'll see how we go. Students are very swamped and so think about having a consistent due date. For example, I make my work due um, for one class on Mondays and Thursdays at 11.55 p.m. Now that is because the class is totally online. You might want work due before class or you might want it due after, but set up a consistent pattern so students know what to expect. Let them know when you're going to grade the work. I have had many students complain that they're expected to adhere to a due date, but instructors might grade things two or three weeks later. Yes, we're busy, but you know what, our students are also, and we have to respect that. And set your expectations. If you don't take late work, let students know that. If you expect them to um, use a certain format, let them know it. People are not mind readers. You have to let them know what you want so that if you cover this the very beginning of your class, it's going to go a lot smoother than if you're going, oh, I forgot to tell you, this is due on this time of day, or you're going all over the place. So think about what you would want to know and let your students know that. This work is provided as a result of a Skilled Workers Get Jobs um, grant provided by the National Science Foundation. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me at PamelaJSilvers at abtech.edu. Thank you.